Yo, what is good, everybody? Dusty Four Kicks here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we have the Nike Dunk Low Setsuban. Let's go ahead and check them out. Alright guys, this pair comes from 11 Kicks, information here on the screen if you wanted to check them out. First things first is the box, just a normal Nike box, orange with Nike and the swoosh on top and white, nothing too crazy. As far as accessories go, it did come with some flat white laces with gold tips. Getting into the actual shoes, there's a lot of detail to go over. Starting off from the bottom, you have the really cool purple embroidery. Then around that is a nice, it's like a taupe kind of color for the leather, extends up here and down the lace guard. You can see towards the heel, there's this really nice brown leather. It's got that cool cracked effect. Swoosh again, cracked effect, kind of sparkly if you ask me, in purple, outlined with a nice thick gold swoosh. Side panels you'll see are really cool. It's like a tan beige colorway, also cracked. Towards the toe box and around, you have a really nice soft brown suede or maybe nubuck. Then you can see the gold embroidered swoosh right there. Just a regular cream midsole, nothing too crazy there. Also, you'll see you have a nice, almost a gum translucent bottom, kind of like a mix there with the Nike hit right there on the center. Cover to the toe box, you have that really cool beige tan colorway once again with the cool cracked detail. You got the purple laces also with gold tips, but you already saw the white ones with the gold tips that come with the shoe. Brown nylon tongue, it is not an SB, so it's not a thick tongue, just a regular one. You can see the tongue tag is kind of like a beige tan colorway with Nike and the swoosh and the trademark symbols in gold. Coming over to the inside of the shoe, you have a nice bright purple sock liner. You'll see that the insole is decorated. I'll put the picture of both insoles on the screen right now so you can see but it is to go with the Setsuban Festival theme. Backside of the shoe, once again, you have that soft leather. It might be Nubuck, I'm not 100% sure, in that kind of taupe colorway. You'll see the brown leather, once again, is cracked. The purple swoosh with the gold swoosh hanging out there. Heel tab is a nice brown, I believe, Nubuck with Nike embroidered in gold. Middle side to wrap it all up, you once again have that taupe leather, this time minus the heel embroidery. You have the really cool purple kind of like glittery swoosh with the gold swoosh behind it. You have the nice side panel in that tan beige colorway with the cool cracked effect. And then you have that brown, what I want to say is Nubuck around the toe box. All right, so these started out as a Japan exclusive and now slowly throughout 2023, I believe they are starting to come out and release in other places. So far, not the US, but it's okay because I was able to secure myself a pair either way. The details on this shoe are crazy. You got this really cool little purple logo back here. You can see the swoosh itself if I get close enough, hopefully. It's got a nice cracked purple outlined in a gold. Then you have this right here, which I want to say is probably Nubuck or probably Nubuck. You got the side panels, it's really hard to see. It's a really nice cracked, looks like the earth cracked. You got the brown Nubuck here. Just super cool details all throughout the shoe, even in the insole. Just everything about this is crazy. And honestly, it's one of the most detailed and unique dunk lows that I feel like we've had in a while, especially one that is not an SB. So I'm really stoked to add these to my collection. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Are these a cop or a drop? Just like always, I really appreciate you guys coming over to the channel and hanging out for a bit. Till next time, I'm Dusty4Kicks. Peace.